Okay, now let's find the restricted values for this rational expression. So p squared minus 5p plus 4 cannot be equal to 0. And remember that, well, we have a trinomial here. So we can actually factor this trinomial. And here we have p, another p. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 4 and add up to negative 5. Those would be negative 1 and negative 4. OK, so we know that p minus 1 times p minus 4 can equal 0. So what are the restricted values of p? Well, it can't be 1, because if we had 1 minus 1, that would give us 0. And 0 times anything is just 0. So we can't have 1, comma. We're going to have another restricted value. It can't be 4 either, because 4 minus 4 would also be 0. And that's also not allowed. So the restricted values of p are just 1 and 4 in this case. What about over here? We know that n squared minus 2n minus 35 cannot be equal to 0. OK, now same thing. We can factor this trinomial, which will make things simpler. We put an n over here and n over there. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 35 and add up to negative 2. Those would be negative 7 and positive 5. So what are the restricted values? Well, we can't have 7, because 7 minus 7 would be 0. 7 is not allowed. What about over here? n plus 5 cannot be equal to 0. So negative 5 is a restricted value, because negative 5 plus 5 would be 0, and that's just not allowed. There we go. So the restricted values in this case are 7 and negative 5.